Hi everybody. I am doing a pour here in this video. Uh, um, most of you, as you know, I usually do pours. I let them dry and then I paint on them later. Um, so this one, uh, the colors in there, man, I can't remember. Um, oh boy. I think that's um, aquamarine. There's a mint green, gold, white. Um, I can't really remember. I think it, it's either aquamarine or my teal that I have mixed up. But I have all my stuff mixed up in bottles. Not really labeled, just colors are there. So it's hard for me to remember exactly which ones I used. So here we are already at the pour that uh, that I end up with. Um, I didn't really intend for cells or any of that stuff in this. I just wanted a nice background, nice colors. Um, looks like there might have been some burnt sienna or maybe some... Uh, probably burnt sienna that was in there. Anyway... Here it is, it's dry already. I have cut from my Cricut machine some some vinyl trees here. Um, it looks kind of orangey on camera here, but um, the vinyl that I have, most of it is quite holographic. And this one had um, sort of a rusty, orange, yellow, goldy sort of, as you turn it, uh, colors within it. So I thought, well, I'll put these on first and then um, I'm going to paint over them and just sort of go from there. And as I go along, I sort of come up with new ideas and and uh, further things that I wanted to do. But sometimes I like just having that underneath and it gives that sort of reflective light, which is really pretty sometimes. So uh, here I am outlining the trees as a way of... Um, sealing down the edges of the vinyl. Although it's an adhesive vinyl, it sticks really well. You still wanna make sure that it doesn't go popping up. And almost always when I use any adhesive vinyl in my paintings, I usually end up resining uh, the paintings a little a little bit. Sometimes I'll, I'll tint the resin and do some further painting on top with some resin art and designing on top or I will just top coat it with resin. Uh, so probably in this one, I'll just top coat it. I might do a little bit at the very bottom, uh, maybe with some, some more snow effect. But as you see at the end, um, the bottom has a lot of texture in it. So really doesn't need a whole lot of anything except the resin top coat at the end. Um, so I'll just let you watch for a bit and, and uh, there's Later on in the, in the video here, I finally figured out what time lapse is, duh. Well, now it'll be sped up a lot more than just the two times that I can do in this um, editing software here. So it will be a lot faster coming up. Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to mention that I'm now um, putting in some darker blue and green sort of teal underpainting for the trees. I'm not too concerned about, um, you know, getting perfect branches or any of that stuff right now. All I'm looking for is to have the darkness underneath because as you see now, I'm adding a whole bunch of white on top. Um, and this just keeps building and building in layers now.
So as I keep going, I'm going sort of back and forth from adding white to adding some gold to back to adding some white. Uh, right here, I'm using my little alcohol ink bottles that have a little needle nose tip. And I have some mixture of gold in there and I'm just adding that in. I'm starting to form some stuff on the bottom. There you can see I missed a whole section of recording here. So this is crackle paste at the bottom and uh, I have colored it in with um, pearl uh, iridescent and some gold iridescent and copper iridescent and I decided I went too heavy on the copper so I end up uh, lightening that up at the end of the video here so just so you know that does change as you can see I covered up a lot of the vinyl uh, and just kept that shine underneath right there you can see it coming through and then I just kept it on that one little tree there at the end I thought it was kind of cute so I left it so um, I have gone through the other parts of the painting and enhanced all the colors uh, so you can see some of the rich blues and um, um, the browns and golds and things I've I've added in some further coloring there you can see the bottom this is a shot outside uh, just as it was probably I don't know just after supper time it was getting dusk so I thought it might make a nice time to show the colors in the painting kind of dark but it sort of fits the painting there's a lot of snow in the background in our yard here and uh, you can see at the bottom I've lightened it up with a lot more um, of the iridescent pearl you can see the little gold bits in the trees um, I take it back inside and do a little more uh, recording I'm trying to show all angles because it's hard to pick up all the colors and the, the sparkle of the golds and things like that so uh, the rest of it it's all done uh, I'm just trying to show the colors within it now so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fast enough. I'm trying not to drag these videos out too long. Uh, it's a lot of work to um, paint them in the first place and then it's a lot of work to do editing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and here's the final piece. And uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye for now.